This is your Cup of Linux Quickie for Monday, April 1st, 2019. Initially, I didn't have any plans for releasing a video today, but I cannot ignore uh, the requests of my uh, visitors to cupoflinux.com and those who uh, have visited me on my Mumble server. And uh, an issue that was brought up by the community was uh, something uh, I did out of a little uh, mischief. Uh, you see, I had uh, in some screenshots and videos, recent videos on YouTube, I had a little Easter egg, okay? And some of you clever little devils figured this one out and asked me, how did I get a custom kernel line, okay? You're going to see that uh, for the kernel here in my uh, system information uh, that I have displaying on my terminal, uh, it's saying 419.31-1, which is uh, the Arch Linux LTS kernel, but uh, I've got the name COLA here, which basically uh, is an acronym for Cup of Linux Arched. And if I ever decide to, you know, release my own Arch Linux spin, that's probably what I'm going to call it, COLA. And uh, so um, how did I do that? Well, very simple. You see, you download the source and you compile your own kernel. There. Okay. Are you happy? Now you know how to do it. No, that's not how I did it. <laughs> Let me show you what I did. Okay. So why don't I uh, just um, put some eyeballs on so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, industrial strength birth control glasses courtesy of the Dollar Tree. Okay, uh, let's uh, Guxu Jedit slash Abin slash uh, Alsi. Now, um, Alsi is what is being used to display this information on the screen. But there are other programs that you could do the same thing with, like uh, NeoFetch or ScreenFetch, okay? So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Okay, and then, um, ah, look, it went right back to the original place. Let me uh, make this resemble what it originally looked like to a degree. Okay, what we have here is the kernel section, okay? And this is what's going to print out information for the kernel in uh, right next to the uh, ASCII art, okay? And in the original file, uh, this area in quotations pointed to um, the uh, proc directory where the original OS release file resides. And basically, I made my own OS release file and put it in my home directory and then pointed it there. Now, this file also has another section with the uname dash r. Okay, And if I leave that in there, what it's going to do is it's going to override the file I have here. Okay, so what I do is I just backspace this and remove it. So there is nothing between these two apostrophes. That way it can only read the file that is here. And then we save this. Okay, and then we can close it. And you'll see here, this is the file. All right, this is, resides in my home directory, and this is the uh, OS uh, release file. And you can see that it has 4.19.31-1 COLA-LTS. And when we open the terminal, or open a fresh version of the terminal, you'll see that that is what is there. But we could have fun with this. Okay, and uh, what do I want to replace this with? How about this? Okay, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save that, all right, and then when I reopen my terminal here, okay, and then I just do source dot bash rc, 
All right, you are going to see that it now displays the new uh, kernel name, okay? Uh, because as stated, if we display uh, uname-r, it is going to reveal the kernel, the, the real underlying kernel that I've been using all along. All right, so now you all know the cat's out of the bag.